Aaron Jones. How about this guy? 236 yards from scrimmage yesterday, three touchdowns. He had no idea what kind of day he was having until the game was over. He joked, I need to go call my agent because he's one of the top running backs who's in year four now, who has yet to get his contract. Chris, where would you put him? I'll start right there. Yeah. With the likes of Alvin Kamara and Dalvin Cook. He said that he's almost on the same level as them. I don't know. I'd say after yesterday, he's on a higher level than them. Well, I mean, I I think he's in that conversation. I I think with running backs, I put three, I I, I believe, in maybe a little bit of a higher class than their own right now. With McCaffrey, Derrick Henry, and Nick Chubb, I think those three are the guys I look at and go, that they stand alone for me right now. Now is a little bit of a conversation of beauty in the eye of the beholder of that next group of what you like. But I think he's in that conversation of like flirting with the top five, right? I, I do. He's special. He's a home run hitter. And for the modern day NFL with the way he catches the ball out of the backfield. And then like we saw yesterday, you give him a crease and he's got speed to go 80 to the house. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know, Mike, do you, do you agree with what I'm saying there? I'm just curious. Have you finalized your list no. of 15 top five running backs? No, but that that's the problem. That is, It's like the receivers. You know, you do the receivers. There's 20 top 10 receivers. And with running backs, there is legitimately 10 running backs where you can go, I can make a case to say they're top five. I really can. And I think he is one of those guys there that's anywhere from four to 10. You, you could argue, depending on who it is and what kind of running back you like to fit your offense and what kind of style of runner you like. I asked him at one point if this Packers team is better than last year's because their draft strategy and their free agent strategy created the impression that maybe they were taking a step back. Instead of trying to finish the job, they're thinking about the future. They're thinking about maybe an offense that would be more premised on the run like the 49ers, the team that steamrolled them in the NFC Championship game. If you can't beat them, join them. Aaron Jones said he thinks the team is definitely better than it was last year, that the offensive players know the system better. Year two yeah. of the Matt LaFleur offense, and they all feel more comfortable. They understand the nuances, the concepts, the purposes, the plays, what they're trying to do. And I asked him if Aaron Rodgers is any different this year. He said he's more focused, and that led me to the Aaron Rodgers revenge tour question. And uh, he said, I don't think it's that. I-, I don't think it's because he's salty that they drafted a first-round quarterback he just knows how close they got last year and this year the goal is to push it over the top so um you know we'll, we'll see we'll see but uh whatever the motivation is wherever it's coming from this Packers team got does going, seem better right than it was last year and when you look around the NFC I don't know who's going to emerge from the west but it could be the Seahawks ultimately are the toughest opponent and the biggest barrier this year for the Packers is they keep playing like they are now. Well, yeah, I think like after two weeks, right? Are we gonna? I think we'd sit here, and if you ask me, the teams, the two best teams in the NFC right now after two weeks, I'm gonna pick the Seahawks and the Packers, right? Are, are, are you? Or Which one first? Which one? I, Packers scored 85 points. I know. Ooh. I mm, I don't know. I. I'd probably go with the Seahawks right now, just with a little edge. But I don't know. I don't feel necessarily comfortable about that. You know, the Packers. Two things have jumped out to me. You know, first off, yes, it, it's another year in the Mike Pettin system, too. So they've figured that out and, like, creative ways to get pick sixes and all that. Rashawn Gary, their first-round pick from 2019, he's infused himself into the lineup more. So now when you got Preston Smith, Darius Smith, Rashawn Gary, you got three guys that can get after the quarterback. So that's, like, been a big jump to their football team. And then offensively, the big thing that's jumped out to me, and especially just on film last week, and again, just watching on TV yesterday, Rodgers and the offense are more aggressive. They're more aggressive with the play calls, and Rodgers has been really, if I had to say a negative about him last year, and you heard me say this a few times, where every now and then he got in that spat with Lafleur that we talked about early last year in week three or four, where there was an open receiver. Open by NFL means, which is not like wide open, but you go, wait, you're Aaron Rodgers. I've seen you hit the bullseye more than any quarterback in the history of my life. Throw a laser in there. He's open. And he wouldn't throw it, and I feel like he's gotten over that. What I've seen in the first two weeks is first read, open, even though if not by a lot, he's not looking for, oh, wait, can I find something better or sexier? He's taking that, and then with LaFleur being more aggressive, they got a good formula working right now, especially with Aaron Jones and that run game coming along too. The Packers will have opportunities to show how they measure up 
to the best teams in the NFC yeah. starting Sunday night at the Saints. Talk about a great Sunday night football game Yeah, early on. My goodness, Packers at Saints, are you kidding me? Especially if the Saints win tonight to move to 2-0. and Then it's a Monday night game against the Falcons at home. They have an early bye in week five. Coming out of the bye, it's Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers for the Green Bay Packers. So, look, their schedule isn't all that difficult. They don't play the Bears until week 12, and who knows where the Bears will be then. They're 2-0 and right now, which is a stunner.